Hello again. This is Atomic Brando here in his same spot. Thank you. Good morning to you too. Um, I had some very interesting responses to my first video in my introduction. Um, you know, this, this happens as it happens. It's spontaneous always. Nothing is staged. I just, uh, the way that I work is to just kind of set an intention and quiet myself and just see what happens. Go and see what happens. It seems to work out pretty good most of the time. People love to argue. And people, I think today, we're gonna talk about, I wanna talk about belief and beliefs. Let me do something really quick here to, <laughs> Well, <clears throat> Atomic Brando uses any tool that presents itself in the world to self-introspect with or to reflect off of. And one thing that I have become very close with are, is the tarot. Now, it's just a tool, but I am a wizard, and a wizard has got to use the tarot, right? I'm playing my part. Are you playing your part, believers? <laughs> I would say you are. In a world like this, belief seems to be the price of entry in our world, but. I've uh, picked a card, truth. As a tool, the tarot is just a mirror reflecting our mental state or mental states, which are many, it seems, always seething and roiling within us. And I think that's pretty interesting. Also, as a tool, I found the tarot to be an incredible, synchronistic, intuitive, I can't explain it. You know, intuitive. It gives you an intuitive feel for the moment. Ability to self-reflect. I never use it as a divination tool. I'm not trying to see the future or understand the past um, much. I try to let that go as much as possible. But anyway, that's an interesting card because I've gotten it three times this week. Hello again. Often um, a wizard will have a kookaburra bird or some sidekick. And generally that sidekick, a goat perhaps, a bird, provides comic relief sometimes to the situation. But in the stories of wizards in our mythology and in our fiction and nonfiction, it seems that the sidekick often is the wise one. <laughs> it isn't the wizard who has the wisdom. It's his silly sidekick generally. So it's interesting. 
I don't have a bird here, so I'm not a real wizard yet. But I'm, I think, you know, give it a couple more weeks. I think I can, I can get, I can be a full-fledged wizard maybe. But it is interesting belief. Um, I ended up posting, my brother ended up sending me some, a video. I shared a little bit with my brother. This is Eric talking, by the way, right now. We're gonna, you're gonna often see different people popping in and out. Might be, there might be a smelly goat lurking around, although he's not long for the earth, I think. AP should be glad for that. And then, um, you know, Atomic Brando is here wearing the hat. Every now and then Eric might pop up. You never may, you, you never may know. And you would judge me, those out there? You wearing a hat? You sharing your heart? <laughs> if you remember from the last video, kind of summed up the whole world with follow your heart and have fun. Well, I'm having fun. I'm following my heart. So for me, I'm right exactly where I need to be. My brother sent me a video from somebody named John Butler, and I'll post a link to that down below in the description of the video. And John is a very interesting character I wanted to reflect on a little bit and talk as I talk about belief today. John is a Christian, married several times, I believe. He's an older man. I believe he's in his 80s. And he has had a profound experience with himself. And he's made a lot of videos. I believe he's called it the spiritual unfolding. And he has a lot of conviction and he feels, you know, he has something to say. So he has been sharing his heart into the world. And it's a powerful vision and a powerful heart, I find. He just cuts all the way through it in the moment. And he gets, Dante, come. And John is with and in the moment quite often, and I have found his experience to be genuine for me. Um, you can take it as it comes, you know, as you feel, but I do, I do think that he has had an experience of the self, and um, it's profound. So I shared him with a few believers that I know. And it was interesting, the reaction that I saw. He has his own image that is very much in line probably with what he's saying. Uh, from a stereotypical fictional representation, he is the old wise man. I'm an imposter. We all are imposters, but He's, he's developed, he's, this guy is from Central Casting. He's an interesting character, and I encourage you to check him out. But um, he pretty much nails belief right between the eyes. And I think that's a good thing. Anyone living bound by their belief has chosen, I believe, we all have them. <laughs> How could you live without a few basic beliefs? No, it's not so much beliefs. Uh, I, that's the wrong word. Um, I feel because I have developed for myself a system or a way of letting, trying to identify and let go of ideas that I've, you know, that I identify as beliefs. And I actually just, anytime I can find a belief inside of me, I'll chuck it on the fire as fast as I can. It can be very frustrating for people because I'm not trying to tell a story 
I'm just telling my story, I guess. And my story is one where I used to be a believer, a big, uh, uh, you know, a big evangelical Christian believer. And I'll talk more about that probably maybe if it comes up in other videos, but I'll suffice it to say that I struggled with my faith for a long time as John did you know he had a very rough he had some rough relationships with women I had some rough relationships with women most of those issues were mine wasn't a very good friend not a very good son not a very good brother I guess you know Eric is Eric you are you atomic is atomic there is no left or right there is only here. There's no turning. There's only facing things head on, Jake. Yeah, I just got your email. <laughs> Jake is a brother that I went to missionary school with back in the day. I never understood belief, not even then. It just, you know, it just didn't seem real to me. Just believing things in a book because somebody said so, because they make sense. You know, so I guess I fooled them all. <laughs> I was just going along with the program, maybe. I didn't, I just didn't understand what belief is, and I still don't. And, you know, now I've done away with it completely, so I guess I'm better off. I would say I'm better off. I'm arguing simply to let belief go, and people with belief will argue that that's all there is. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> because we're never going to talk each other into anything. Hmm. How cold is it on the, on the mountain? Not just this year, but always. Crowded peaks, forever choked with snow. Dark forest breathing endless mist. No grass sprouts till the early days of June. Hey, that's now. Before the first of autumn, leaves are falling. And here a wanderer, drowned in delusion, looks and looks but cannot see the sky. Cole Mountain is talking about a poem and he's talking about somebody walking by the mountain and not just feeling the coldness and feeling small is that the story we're walking through the valley of death we shall fear no evil I'm sorry that I cheated and I let my beliefs go in an open way, in an open mind. Totally fluid in the moment, intuitive, spontaneous. That's called Wei Wu Wei, doing not doing. Doing without fear, doing without thinking about the future, doing without thinking about the past. I cannot argue belief with anybody. I have my experience that and that is what I am sharing and speaking from. Have I mentioned anything that I need to know? No. So, I may be skipping to the end in that I am I've decided sitting right here and looking within and being silent, I've, that that's, that's good enough for me right now. That may change later. I may take a trip. I may read a book. I may listen to a song, but I am bound by nothing.
Right now I'm kind of bound by this hat. It's sweaty. I can feel the band on my head. But again, this is just a temporary thing. <laughs> Everything that I see in the world reminds me of how temporary and momentary it is, how I'm here and gone. You see the cycles everywhere. So, where I feel reality is, is utterly beyond belief, you know, there are roads, on-ramps, to awareness, I think, or down into awareness. John, and I want to echo and I'll end with a very basic idea from John Butler. Just relax into it, baby. <laughs> just let go in the moment and just feel it. Be silent, and then there's no arguments. There's nobody to talk with or get straight or ask a question of, and you're just there. So in that moment, what else did you need to know to be there? Did you need to know the meaning of the universe? Did you need to understand alien phenomena? Did you need to know about ESP? Did you need to understand the theory of everything? You know, I mean, what is it that we think we need to know to live our life? And how dare we bind others with our beliefs and enforce and then impose them on others? I made a video having fun. You can watch it or not. Turn it off when you aren't interested. I think we can all come as we are with to each other. Give it, give all a listen. And I guess I'll end it there. The dogs are about to have some fun, so I'm going to go play with them. But anyway, it was fun to chat. I have no point. I am not wise. I do not know. I am standing still. And I wish you your well in your journey, if you have one, in your life. All right, I gotta go. All right, peace.